Hey there. In this presentation, we'll be diving into the world of Flutter, Google's open source UI toolkit for building amazing cross-platform apps. Here's an overview of what we'll cover today. First, we'll understand what Flutter is all about. Then, we'll explore the reasons why you might want to use Flutter for your app development needs. After that, we'll take a look at Flutter's architecture and how it works under the hood. We'll also dive into the concept of widgets, which are the building blocks of Flutter UIs. I'll guide you through setting up your development environment. And finally, we'll write our first Flutter app, the classic Hello World example. All right, let's start with the basics. Flutter is an open source UI toolkit developed by the folks at Google. It's designed to help developers create high-performance, visually stunning apps that feel native on different platforms like iOS, Android, web, and desktop, all from a single code base. That's right, you can write your code once and run it everywhere, which is pretty awesome. Now let's talk about why you might want to choose Flutter for your app development needs. First off, it's cross-platform, which means you can target multiple platforms with a single code base. Pretty neat, right? It also has this cool feature called Hot Reload, which allows you to see the changes you make to your code instantly without having to restart the app. This can really speed up your development process. Flutter also offers an expressive and flexible UI with a rich set of widgets that you can customize to your heart's content. On top of that, it has a growing community and ecosystem, so you'll have access to plenty of resources and support. And the best part? It's open source and free to use. Let's take a quick look at how Flutter is architected. Flutter is built using Dart, a programming language developed by Google. It follows a reactive programming model, which means that your UI updates automatically when the underlying data changes. In Flutter, everything is a widget, from views and layouts to buttons and text. These widgets are then compiled to native code for optimal performance on each platform. Under the hood, the Flutter engine takes care of rendering, handling gestures, animating elements, and more. Now, let's talk about widgets, which are the building blocks of Flutter UIs. There are two main types of widgets, stateless and stateful. Stateless widgets are simple, immutable UI components that don't change their appearance based on user interactions or data changes. Stateful widgets, on the other hand, are mutable and can re-render themselves based on changes in their internal state. Flutter comes with a wide range of built-in widgets for various UI elements, but you can also create your own custom widgets to suit your app's needs. Before you can start building your Flutter app, you'll need to set up your development environment. First, you'll need to install the Flutter SDK, which you can download from the official Flutter website. Next, you'll want to set up an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, like Android Studio or Visual Studio Code. Once you have your IDE set up, you'll need to install the necessary plugins and tools for Flutter development. Finally, you'll want to configure emulators or connect physical devices for testing your app. All right, now let's dive into some code. Here's a simple example of a Flutter app that displays the classic Hello World message. First, we import the material.dart package, which gives us access to Flutter's material design widgets. Then, we define our main function, which is the entry point of our app. Inside the main function, we call the runApp method and pass in an instance of our myApp widget. MyApp is a stateless widget, which means it's a simple, immutable UI component. In the build method of MyApp, we return a material app widget, which provides us with a basic app structure and material design components. Inside the Material app, we have a Scaffold widget, which acts as the main container for our app's UI. Within the Scaffold, we have a Center widget that centers its child, which in this case is a text widget displaying Hello World. Pretty straightforward, right? All right, let's quickly recap what we've covered today. Flutter is a powerful open source UI toolkit that allows you to build cross-platform apps with a single code base. It offers a reactive framework, a rich library of widgets, and native performance. Flutter's hot reload feature and expressive UI make development more efficient and enjoyable. With its growing community and ecosystem, Flutter is quickly becoming a compelling choice for mobile app development. 
So, if you're looking to build high-quality apps that run seamlessly across multiple platforms, Flutter might just be the right tool for you.